Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 10th, 2022. Well, doggone it, we have been in a hurry up and wait mode with very, very low volume as we wait on the CPI. Um, indexes have been tucked directly against um, longer term resistance and downtrend levels in the chart and this morning we can probably expect a decision to be made so how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here what we have been talking about all week is finally going to happen here this morning we're going to get the latest reading on our cpi what will the reaction be you know it's really not so much about what the actual number is it's how the market reacts to the number that's important and we're going to either make a decision we're going to make that decision are we finally going to break these resistance levels and move on higher supporting those bulls hopes or will the bears find that inspiration to defend this resistance pushing down breaking some upside trend and probably um disappointing a lot of the market that's hopeful that we have finally reached a bottom in the market so what is what do we have going on here in this chart we're clearly are um, we're pressed against this downtrend we're pressed against significant overhead resistance in the chart and as we've seen before we we can even pop this level we can pop it and then still reverse to the downside. So one of the things I want to um, echo out there, if you were at the uh, free e-learning last night, I talked about the possibility that we may have to, at this point, let that break, prove the higher low, and then get long the market here. Because if we can break through, this would suggest more upside in the market, more resistance levels up here to be tested. If we find out that we were to break lower, then look for that lower high in here that could set up some great short trades and push us back down toward those market lows. If we take a look at our um, SPY, very much the same thing. We're just slammed against this resistance. We've been getting the impression that everything is great here in the market, even though data has not been supporting that. And as you can see, uh, we've been locked in these um, uh, this resistance zone here for some time in the diamond spike QQQ. Um, we've kind of been stuck. So today might be the day we get that reveal. And what we can probably expect um, after the pre-market volatility that we're likely to see in the futures, either a substantial gap up or a substantial gap down could occur. So hopefully you're prepared for that today and have um, your protection systems in place to protect that capital uh, because it could be a substantial move here on the day. And if we take a look at our QQQ, very similar situation where we're kind of pressed against, whoops, let's get the QQQ actually. We're pressed against significant downtrend levels and significant resistance levels in the chart, waiting for that decision. Will we follow through? Now, we saw China last night have um, higher inflation, and we saw their tech sector sell off pretty sharply last night. So we'll want to watch that closely. I don't know if that will have any knock-on effects here for the U.S. market, but I suspect by and large all we're really going to be concerned about is that cpi number this morning so watch that closely and then if we take a look at our russell iwm has been um, showing a, a defiance of the resistance and downturn level but then yesterday kind of gave it back and leaving behind a bit of an evening star pattern here on the chart now again i'm not sure that's going to matter all that much when this number comes out um, we'll be reacting to the number itself let's keep a close eye on that as we well who knows what comes next um, look for some volatility look for some wild price action this morning watch for potential whipsaws we can we could get an re initial reaction up or down and then 
um, reverse and whipsaw. So be prepared for that on the intraday. What, I would, what I'm suggesting is you may not want to, first thing in the morning, as soon as the market opens, rush in making a knee-jerk reaction. Wait for that initial reaction to calm just a little bit, and then we can make some better decisions on trades. I have no idea which way it's going to go. I have no preconceived idea as to which way it's going to go. Um, so make sure um, you have a plan in place to protect your capital. Let's take a look at our VIX. Um, we also have quite a little bit of uncertainty in the VIX yesterday um, where we were pushing up at the end of the day and a little bit of selling coming into play. Um, just uncertainty as to what comes next. But what we do have to recognize here is this downtrend, this break of this resistance. So this is still in the court of the bulls. So the bulls have the edge here um, on our current trend. And it really all depends. Will we pop this with a uh, with a number that brings out the bears, or will we continue to push on down, and really kind of deepen the complacency of this run? We'll want to watch that closely this morning. And then if we take a look at our T twenty one twenty two, well, our T twenty one twenty two finally gave us a little bit of relief yesterday with that bit of selling and notice that it relieved quite a bit of that pressure here which means if we get a good number here today that supports the bulls then we have opened up a pretty nice upside opportunity here and possibly even that breakout of those resistance levels in the charts but we also want to recognize the fact that if the number um, inspires those bears, that we still have significant downside that could come into play after that number comes out. So watch that closely here today. I don't know what's going to happen, and I don't even want to try to assume what's going to happen. I would just um, echo out that caution here that anything is possible. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 also fought, saw just a little bit of pullback yesterday but no harm here at all in the chart we've been pressing into that downtrend trying to make that decision can we break through or not remember if we do break through we need proof that we can hold a breakthrough and a reversal doesn't help us we need proof that we can hold up here and hold on to some support areas in the chart if it goes the other way if uh, the number comes out um, uh, and inspires those bears then what we're going to want to watch is a little bit of price support in here seeing if we can hold down in this area if we fail on lower that would be a problem for us just below 30 percent of the stocks here holding above their 200 day moving average if we take a look at our T2108, I do, however, think there is a little bit of a problem here in T2108. We've been so overly bullish here in the market. No matter what the data is, we've been pushing up, and we've got 72% of the stocks up here. Now, this number could certainly spike us much higher here than the number of stocks above their 40-day moving average. But one of the things you want to notice when we push this market too hard and we press these um, stocks too far up, we usually get that reversal reaction in here someplace. So I'm not saying we can't go higher, but we want to watch that in here. As we push up, we may be getting a little bit over exuberant and um, you may not want to be chasing long first thing this morning. Wait and see what that reaction is going to be just in case that reversal does come into play here on T2108. Once again, I'm going to sk skip the T2101 because of what I mentioned earlier here um, this morning, and that is that our volatility that we have seen um, in the market, whoops, doggone it, that volatility that we've seen here in the market, um, um, pushing against these resistance levels have been leaving the market pretty anemic here on volume. So we're not getting that momentum indicator in T2101 to show us where that momentum really is because it's really been just drifting sideways here and all the indexes as we've waited for that CPI. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, as I've been mentioning all morning, we've got our CPI report here this morning. We'll want to watch that closely. After that, we've got a few um, reports unlikely to move the market. And then we're going to, at 1030 Eastern, have the petroleum status number. We've got a Fed speaker right after that. 
a 10-year note auction that will be interesting because I suspect after the CPI number, there could be significant bond movement, price movement. Keep an eye on those bonds today. They could be um, whipping around all over the place based on what that CPI number is. And I also think that it may have currency ramifications. We've been seeing US dollar being um, extraordinarily strong. If that CPI number comes in hot, then we might see that dollar spike up even higher um, as a result. And that would be just simply the anticipation that the Fed will continue their aggressive nature in tightening um, uh, money supply and rates. If that number comes in better than expected and we see that decline, we could actually see the U.S. dollar drop because bonds might pull back pretty sharply that us dollar drop and that will have some impacts on commodity prices all of our commodities um, oils and foods and um, energies i mean not just oil, um, energies and food uh, commodities could be dramatically affected by this number as well today so look for quite a little bit of price fluctuation around these numbers and then keep in mind after we have evans um, speaking Speaking here, we're going to get a 10-year note auction, which could be an interesting uh, thing to be happening today around all of this data. And then, of course, Treasury uh, statement at 2 p.m. Now, if that were the end of it, uh, we could breathe a major sigh of relief. But unfortunately, tomorrow morning, we're going to get jobless claims and we're going to get the pr producer price information. Um, another inflationary reading that could move us substantially. So after we get through today, well, we're probably still going to have to hold our breath a little bit as to how we're going to react on these numbers on Thursday. So keep that in mind as you plan your risk forward. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar is interesting today. We have quite a few companies listed, but not that many that are confirmed. We have well over 170 companies on the list, but um, it really boils down to less than 100 of those companies are actually confirmed reports. And that's kind of a typical thing that occurs once we start drifting into the, uh, you know, the ends of earnings and we start getting a lot more small caps coming in. And it's kind of hard to pin them down as to when they're actually going to report. Some of the notables for today, and if you want to get the full list of notables, remember guys, click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. Now you want to be keeping on uh, an eye on a couple of these here today. Um, um, AAP, oh, just a second. AAP will be reporting today, Advance Autos. That's a pretty sizable company and can move uh, move things around quite a bit, so keep an eye on that. We're going to have BMBL. The Bumble has been quite, um, um, quite an upside run. Very, very bullish here in this dating app, pushing up strongly. And we're going to be maybe trying to figure out: Are we going to have enough energy in this earnings report to break us back up here into this next level, uh, breaking into that gap? or if uh, this trend runs into some trouble um, on that earnings report. So keep an eye on that one this morning. We're also going to hear from Disney this afternoon. This is going to be an interesting one as well, and kind of the, uh, the future of streaming and how consumers are handling um, their streaming dollars here um, as they're constrained with the higher prices of food, rent, those kind of things. Watch that closely here. This could be interesting. We're pushed against this resistance. We have broken that, that trend uh, in the chart. So it has been bullish here recently, but watch that carefully with this resistance. Uh, it could be a big number here today on um, Disney. Watch that close. We're going to hear from um, some food, um, fast food, Jack in the box will be reporting today. It's been running to the upside hard. Um, watch that resistance in the chart. And we are going to hear from uh, Wendy's 
today. Keep an eye on that. Also running up sharply and running into a very significant level of price resistance in the chart. So we'll want to watch that closely on its report this morning. And we're going to hear from Wolverine here today. So watch these charts. Um, a lot of them are pushed into resistance levels heading into those earnings reports. There have been tremendous speculation this earnings season with people buying up stocks heading into earnings. Some have won, some have seen some significant punishment. So be kind of careful there. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And if you go through and you um, click those thumbs up buttons um, on other folks' comments, that also helps the algorithm to say there's a lot of engagement with the video and it keeps growing. So uh, thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. All I can do is put out the best content that I can. It's up to the viewers to decide whether or not it's worthy. And you guys have been supporting the channel so well. I am truly, truly honored. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful here, particularly today with the volatility that we're likely to see in the morning and the likely whipsaws that could occur because of that volatility. Now, having said that, um, I've been mentioning some commodities here recently in the morning prep. And um, I, I currently hold this position in CCJ. I'm continuing to hold this position in CCJ. This could be an interesting day today because if we do get some currency fluctuations, so for example, if the US dollar were to fall pretty sharply um, based on this number, and that would be the expectation that uh, the Fed will ease just a little bit and that would bring down that US dollar, then we could certainly see anything in a, this commodity sector rally and move up. If, of course, that number comes in hot, suggesting that the Fed is going to have to be more stringent in his numbers, this could actually fail and I could get stopped out at a loss on this. That's okay. I'm planned for that. The risk is acceptable, but we'll want to watch some of these commodities because they could be moving around quite a bit here on the day. As you guys know, I've also been mentioning um, their uranium ETF in here. That's still setting up for a possible move. So if you haven't found a potential trade in here, if we do get some of that currency fluctuation in here, watch for that opportunity that that may pop um, to the upside. So there may be some opportunities um, in that chart. As you guys also know, I've been watching pretty carefully here on TLT. This is another risky trade for today because we could get some big bond movement in prices. Um, I don't know which way that um, CPI is going to go, if it's going to favor this trade that I'm holding in TLT or not, but I am hedged on the position and so far I'm comfortable with this position. So I'm watching that closely. Now other trades out there, there's a lot of stocks um, moving around uh, quite a bit. Take a look at TTD, Trade Desk, popping up hard here today um, on um, its report. Um, watch that closely. Um, we're breaking some of these downtrends. And as we break down trends, we don't want to chase a chart like that. We want to wait for that next rest, that next consolidation and pullback. So watch what some of these resistance areas in here uh, for that test. And then we'll look for that resting pullback and see if we can catch that next opportunity in that trade. You might also want to be taking a look at... Um, some of these food or defensive food stocks that have been remarkably strong. There's some very boring stocks here, but gold, um, not Goldman, um, General Mills, very strong, breaking through some resistance levels in the chart. As you can see, I'm going to go to a weekly. This is a big breakout here, multi-year breakout for General Mills. 
um, food continues to be a high priced item and going up and as you can see General Mills is showing lots of strength there how about post um, who would have guessed that we would be looking at so many cereal companies showing so much strength but post moving through if I look at that on a weekly this is a big multi-year breakout here in post and that continues to run to the upside keep a close eye on that another place um, that you might want to look in the same area would be Kellogg Kellogg's. Kellogg's moving up pretty strongly here. Um, again, here's a weekly chart um, breaking to some highs. We certainly have a little ways to go before we get to all time highs in Kellogg's, but we're seeing all of these cereal prices showing lots of strength here. And maybe folks are just buying a lot of cereal um, here lately because of the food costs. I don't know. But watch that carefully, seeing a lot of that going on. We're also seeing some areas in this defensive sector perking up. Um, we saw some movement yesterday in KHC trying to move higher. We've got some resistance here to worry about. Um, I wouldn't say this is ready for prime time yet, but we are seeing some of those stocks um, showing signs of bullishness. Um, in the market. You um, could also take a look at stocks like Coca-Cola that have been trying to hold this trend. We're getting this recent pullback. Look for that opportunity if that holds support in here that that may move up. PepsiCo's been doing the same thing looking for some of that upside in those charts. So some pretty good things out there to be watching. Um, um, in these positions. Take a look at Hormel. Hormel, we talked about this chart in right way options several times yesterday. Beautiful chart, Hormel. Uh, again, defensive sector stock, food related stock showing lots of strength. That is a beautiful pattern and looking very bullish at the moment here on Hormel. So there's a few stocks for you to look at, um, kind of decide whether or not you want to put them on a list. Remember, they're not a recommendation. You need to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful about these trades. Never ever blindly follow someone um, else's trade idea. Make sure it fits your own risk tolerance. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. Who knows what happens after this number is revealed. Um, just be ready for it. Be prepared. And then we'll have to prepare for that PPI number tomorrow as well. Be safe. Have an awesome day. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all the best.